Hello viewers, welcome to today's class and the station you are watching is Elimu TV where we always get to watch and learn. This is your history teacher, Roger Michira, who will be taking you through the United Nations and specifically the formation of United Nations. Welcome all and let us learn. Now class, what do we expect by the end of the lesson? We need to know or rather we need to trace the background, the background to the formation of the United Nations Organization. However, you must note that the United Nations Organization is the same as the United Nations. Now, let us introduce that United Nations. Good. That is the globe, and that is, that is, the, si that, that is the sample of the United Nations, so you can see that. Then we introduce the United Nations as an organization. That, that is the United Nations offices in uh, Geneva, then that's the sample, right? Sample of the United Nations, and also those are the offices in New York. Good. Now, we must get to know that the United Nations was established right after the collapse of the League of Nations, right? And we must know that the League of Nations was created in 1919 under the Treaty of Versailles to promote international cooperation and to foster peace and security. Now, the formation of the United Nations was preceded by the series of conferences, right? Now, we have already seen that the United Nations was established right after the collapse of the League of Nations. And now, uh, we have already said also the formation of the United Nations was preceded by a series on confer of conferences. For example, what are some of these conferences, right? We had this conference in London, right? We had the conference in London. All along, we are by Winston Churchill, right? Roosevelt also joined the conference. We had the 1942 conference. Now, let us get to look at some of these conferences. What were they? Now, first, there was a signing in London on 12th June 1941, where the nations agreed to work together with other free peoples, both in times of war and peace. Now, these were independent, independent states, right? states that who had still uh, had already gained independence now they agreed to work together in times of peace and in times in times of war now who attended the 1941 conference now we had the usa president franklin delano roosevelt well-known president right of the U of the united states and the prime minister Winston churchill of the united kingdom right where they set principles for the international cooperation in maintaining peace and security. Now, these are the two people, right? The US President, Franklin Roosevelt, and also the, the, the UK Prime Minister, Wilson Churchill, were the people who set down the principles of international cooperation in maintaining peace and security. And also, another conference, another conference, it was on the 14th August, that a meeting was held in the US between the President Franklin Delano Roosevelt of the USA and the Prime Minister of the UK, Winston Churchill of, of the UK, whereby they set the principles of international cooperation. Also, we have, we have already talked of that. And the charter, uh, or rather, that document was known as the Atlantic, Atl Atlantic Charter. Why did they call it Atlantic Charter? Right? Why did they call it Atlantic cha uh, Charter? From the word Atlantic, right? Now, from the word Atlantic, it is like, or rather, the meeting took place, or rather, the signing of the document took place during a secret meeting in a gunboat in, in, in a gunboat in the Atlantic Ocean. So it was a secret meeting between Roosevelt and Winston Churchill, right, which was in the Atlantic Atlantic Ocean. Let us get to see those two, the, 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 those the, the U.S. president, that is Roosevelt and also Western Churchill, the UK Prime Minister. Now, they took that, they took that uh, secret meeting in the Atlantic Charter and signed the Atlantic Charter, whereby they set principles of international cooperation. Then also, on 1st January 1942, a meeting held in Washington, whereby in that Washington meeting, 26 members from the Allied powers, through their support, they gave all their support to the Charter. Right? Now they said, we have agreed to the principles of international cooperation. Right? So it had support from 26 members. And also another significant, another significant, um, another significant meeting that was held, it was on 11th February 1945, 
at a conference held in Yalta, Ukraine, whereby the US president, that is Roosevelt, the UK prime minister, right, Winston Churchill, and Soviet Union, Joseph Stalin, right, declared their resolve to establish a general international organization to maintain peace and security. Now, in 1945, three signatories met, the UK, pre the UK prime minister, Roosevelt, the US president, right, then also the, 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 the Soviet Union, Josef Stalin, whereby they declared that they, they form a general organization to maintain peace and security. Let us also look at another significant, significant um, meeting that took place. We had the 1945, uh, 25th April, whereby delegates from 50 nations met in San Francisco, right? So it was known as the United Nations Conference on International Organization. So in 25th April 1945, that was a, a tremendous, right, a significant meeting whereby 50 member states met. They agreed to form a United Nations organization. Now, the UN began its official functions on 24th October 1945. That is after the 50 members also declared their support behind the United Nations organization, whereby now it began its... Uh, functions or rather its official functions on 24th October 1945 after the ratification of the charter right by the USSR that's the Soviet Union the USA Britain China and France now we get to see that these are the five superpowers the USSR the USA Britain China and France after they threw their support behind the formation of the UN that is when it came into place. Now, class, after we have looked at the brief formation, brief history, the formation of the United Nations, we have an exercise for us. Now, can you get to tell us how did the League of Nations come into place, right? And note that you must have to state all those meetings that made it possible for the ratification of the United Nations. And now for our reference, kindly, can you get to refer evolving world? History and Government, the form for Oxford University Press, the seventh edition. And as always, this is a Limu TV, your favorite channel where you get to watch and learn.